Hi everyone, good evening all. So today we are going to learn about the next rechargeable battery category which is nothing but nickel metal hydride batteries. So coming to this nickel metal hydride battery, so this is how a practically a nickel metal hydride battery will be visible which has this is nothing but the positive terminal and the bottom will act as a negative terminal similar to that of an a lithium ion battery we have this nickel metal hydride battery and the operating voltage is 1.2 volts and ampere hour rating is 7000 which is nothing but 7000 milli ampere hour so milli and thousand becomes nullified is nothing but uh, the rating of this battery is 7 ah or you multiply this with the voltage 1.2 2 volts this will be in terms of a watt hour so this is all about the nickel metal hydride battery physical structure wise so coming to the concept so basically this nickel metal hydride battery comes under the category of a rechargeable battery we can recharge this battery number of times so this is under the category of a rechargeable battery and next next important feature of this is so let's try to understand so it gives better backup than compare so nickel metal hydride battery give two to three times more capacity than nickel cadmium batteries so that's why nickel metal hydride batteries are more powerful so and the next feature of this nickel metal hydride batteries they offer more life cycles okay the life cycle offered by these batteries is too high and since they offer more life cycle these batteries offer more durability now next one let's try to understand its positive and negative electrode so these batteries consist of positive electrode as well as negative electrode and this consists of electrolytes so coming to the positive electrode so positive it is made up of nickel oxide hydroxide so nickel oxide hydroxide the positive electrode is so this is abbreviated as nickel oxide hydroxide and at negative you are going to have in the form of an so here you will have an hydrogen porous material so where this will have in the form of a metal hydrate and coming to the electrolyte what it has this electrolyte is made up of alkaline material so these batteries comes under the category of alkaline batteries so this electrolyte is alkaline and the type of material used as electrolyte is potassium hydroxide so we are going to use the potassium hydroxide so what i have been explained right now you can directly see in this battery so here you can see all the things to what i have been explained till now okay so we are going to have nickel oxide hydroxide which act as an a positive electrode and at negative you are going to have a hydrogen so this is nothing but a metal alloy sponge that absorbs hydrogen atom from metal hydride so this is made up of metal hydride and the ultimately this metal alloy can be observed from this here this metal alloy can be observed by this sponge so metal alloy sponge that absorbs the hydrogen to form an metal hydride that's how a metal hydride is formed and coming to here the electrolytes here we have is a potassium hydride so we have potassium hydroxide and water which acts like an so this is positive electrode negative electrode and this is nothing but electrolyte made up of potassium hydroxide now let us try to understand its electrochemistry equations so coming to its charging and discharging condition the electrochemistry equations are so here we are going to have nickel at positive electrode we are going to have nickel oxide nickel hydroxide plus you are already going to have oh minus which is nothing but hydroxide 
from where this has been released is already at negative you are going to have metal and this undergoes the reaction with the electrolytes of H2O plus electron ok. So, this undergoes whenever it is charging ok. So, this is the case when it is charging and you can see here metal is there, hydrogen is there, it will try to form a precipitate which is called as metal hydroxide. So, this is nothing but metal hydroxide and plus one hydroxide atom proton is generated. This is called as a hydroxide. Now, this action moves from left to right while our metal hydride battery is in the case of charging. So, this is going to capture the hydroxide which is generated at the negative electrode and this is present in potassium hydroxide electrolyte. So, this hydroxide is absorbed by the positive ion and it undergoes charging. So, the, the suitable combination is nitrogen oxide hydroxide. This is nothing but nitrogen oxide hydroxide and plus water is generated and one extra electron is generated the battery is fully charging. So, whatever here it is generated which is nothing but we can call it as a nickel oxide hydroxide this is nickel oxide hydroxide. So, this charging and discharging of a battery continuously occurs. So, the nickel oxide hydroxide which is generated is available here. So, whenever our metal hydride battery is getting charged, the ultimate bicomponents what we are going to have is metal hydride as well as a nickel oxide hydroxide. So, the hydroxide which is generated is consumed here and the water as well as the electron is also undergoes the reaction at negative to form the substance as metal hydroxide as nickel oxide hydroxide. This is what they actually happens in a battery. So, here you can see here now the battery is in the case of an charging. Whenever it is charging already I told at positive you are going to have nickel oxide hydroxide at negative you are going to have metal hydride. This is nothing but to perform this uh, metal hydride the metal alloy sponge this is nothing but a metal alloy sponge type of material this is nothing but a metal alloy sponge that absorbs the hydrogen to form metal hydride. So, ultimately what it is formed is metal hydroxide is formed. So, this what the governing equations. So, you can see here uh, now our batteries fully gets charged and the bicomponents available are metal oxide hydroxide as well as metal hydride. So, this action of recombination you can understand like this also. So, already at negative you have metal it combines with water which is there. So, this water is there as an electrolyte. So, in the electrolyte you have water and one extra electron it will absorb it undergoes a recombination to level of metal hydride and to generate one extra hydroxide. So, this happening gets negative the generated hydroxide will absorb at the positive electrode at positive already you have nickel hydroxide it absorbs this one more hydroxide and it undergoes the recombination of atomic structure to form nitrogen nickel oxide hydroxide. So, these are the two types of substances which are available when the battery is fully charged. The reverse will happen when the battery is discharged when the battery is completely discharged what is available is a, so we are having a metal and you are going to have nickel hydroxide. So, when the battery is completely discharged what is available at the positive plate is nickel hydroxide and what is available at negative plate is metal. So, this is how the recombination occurs this continuous process of charging and discharging. So, between positive plate and negative plate and between the potassium hydroxide which acts like an electrolyte. So, this is all about. So, all these materials are injected and it forms like a battery and this is how a battery and these batteries are very powerful batteries ok. They have more life than compared to our nickel cadmium batteries. This is all about the nickel metal hydride batteries. Thank you for watching. If you are watching first time 
if you feel the content is useful please subscribe to our channel and if you feel the content is useful please like the channel and please share with your friends and give your valuable comments if you have any doubt at any point so this is a free channel useful for the students as well as for the public so please continuously watch this and support our channel viewers obediently we'll meet in the next video of the specifications of lithium ion but thank you for watching